Hello, and welcome to episode five of Beyond the Podium. I'm John K. Coyle, the Time Guy, and today we're going to talk about sex, lies, and condoms, misinformation fed to you by media. So what am I talking about? Well, if you read the headlines, which I have a couple here, 110,000 condoms spread for the Winter Olympics in South Korea, or the previous Olympics, this one has... Amount of condoms ordered for the Rio Olympics will make your jaw hit the floor. 450,000 condoms distributed at the Olympic Games. So you might think, oh my god, they're, they're, they're doing it everywhere, right? Visions of athletes fornicating all over the Olympic Village come to mind. This prurient interest that they, they pull out of the media every two years, and it's pure bunk. I mean, I've been there, right? At the Lillehammer uh, Olympics. We had giant bins. There was like trash, recycling, condoms, full of condoms. And what do 20-something-year-old boys do if they've got a whole host of condoms at hand? Well, they use them for pranks, of course. Water balloons, we put them on the girls' doorknobs. I mean, you distribute them and leave a trail of them like candy. It was just, it's just nonsense, right? It's just a, a, a false correlation between condoms distributed and actual use. Now, there's other false headlines that come out every two years as well. The facilities aren't ready, right? Leaky faucets, missing toilets, no doors, this whole nonsense that came out of Sochi. I didn't see a single thing that wasn't exactly perfect. Of course, it's all new facilities, so of course, there's going to be some small problems. But the reality is they invest billions and billions of dollars in the Olympics to make this work. And then finally, kind of my favorite is always, like, it's always in the headline. Is Lindsey Vonn going to ski? Is she too injured? The girl is always getting hurt. She's going to ski. So, uh, don't believe everything you read in the media. Uh, I think a lot of it is pure bunk. It comes out every two years. They trot it out like it's news, but it's really not. Uh, next up, I'm going to be talking in episode six, later today, about one of my favorite short trackers, J.R. Selsky, current world record holder in the 500 meters and the relay. Okay, till then, over and out.